the Logitech C920 has been the most popular webcam since it launched. Now, there are some superior options, but I've tested a ton of webcams and there is nothing that beats it at this price range. But Logitech decided to confuse its customers by releasing four different variations of this device. The four variations are the C920, C920X, C920S, and C920E. These all record at a maximum resolution of 1080p 30 frames per second in MJPEG, and they all have autofocus, but you can also use manual focus instead. Here are the differences between all four of these devices. So first off, the prices. I bought this C920 for $70. I actually have two older C920s I got for cheaper, but this one was $70. I got my C920X for $60, my C920S for $60, and my C920E for $65. Now prices on these are going to fluctuate wildly depending on when you get them and where, so I have links to all four of these devices in the description. The C920 is the original base model. Inside the box you get just the webcam and the warranty information. The model number of mine was VU0060. Some of the older C920s, like the one I bought in 2018, have the model number VU0028 and say Logitech on the front instead of the new Logit logo. The C920X is really just the C920. Mine had the same model number of the C920, VU0060. Same build, same everything. Windows also recognizes this as a C920. The only difference is in addition to the webcam and warranty information found inside the box, you also get a three month XSplit license. Back in 2018, they were giving out a three month license to XSplit Premium. Now it's a three month license to XSplit VCam. All I know about VCam is that I tried it before for its background removal and it's terrible. The C920S is again the same as the C920 and Windows will recognize it as such. This one's model was VU0028, the same as my old C920. No XSplit license, but this one comes with a detachable privacy cover that you clip on. Not bad, I like it. The C920E is once again physically the same as the original C920. In the box, it comes with a privacy cover just like the C920S. This device is actually different on a software level. It is recognized as the Logic Webcam C920E. While all four of these devices have built-in mics, the C920E's is disabled by default and you will have to download software called Logitune to enable the mic. The interface of Logitune is not terrible. It's better than Logic Capture. You get more settings, like you can control exposure. You can't even do that in Logic Capture. And it is compatible with more webcams, it seems like, in my case, than G-Hub. But you still can't adjust the gain, so I would definitely just use OBS to control my webcam. And if you have multiple C920s connected to your PC, so in my case, the C920, C920S, and C920X were all just recognized as the C920, it can only access one of them. This is a really old problem Logitech used to have with their old drivers, so it's funny that they never fixed it. Luckily, you can and should use OBS to adjust all your settings individually. As for image quality, this is where things got interesting. I was expecting all of these to look exactly the same, but what happened was the C920 and C920X actually had more accurate colors and the C920S and C920E were both too red. I did lots of testing with automatic and manual settings and there was always a difference. I also tested one of my old Logitech C920s and it looked just like the C920S and C920E where things were overall too red and the white balance was just off. So my conclusion is if you get the C920, any of these, with the model number VU0060 like my C920 and C920X, that one has better colors. If you get VU0028 like my old C920 and my C920S and C920E, that one makes everything too red and you can't really undo that without just making the whole image green or blue with white balance adjustment. So if you're in a physical store, you can see which model number you're gonna get generally on the box, but online, I'm not sure if you can really control which model you're gonna get. But the problem is the only one of these I've actually seen in a physical store is the Logitech C920. None of these other variants. And as I'm recording right now in all the electronic stores nearby, I can't even find any C920s, only C922s in all the stores near me. So you might have to buy these online. So with all that information, you might actually be more confused now than before you watch this video. So let me just tell you what I would do. My verdict is to get whichever one is the cheapest. 
I don't think that the color accuracy differences are really worth nitpicking over at this price range. If you want something that is really gonna give you better colors, then I would look into the Logitech Brio or the Razer Kyo Pro. But the Brio is my main webcam and I recommend that in pretty much all of my webcam videos. Links to all four of these webcams are in the description.